Hey, are you a graphic designer working a nine to five job and you're looking to reach the next level in your career? Well, I got good news for you. Today's video is all about that. We're gonna talk about how to get promoted in your graphic design job. Maybe you're an entry level designer and you wanna reach that next level. I'm gonna help you do that. We're gonna cover the five tips. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll right into it. Hey guys, this is Adrian Boysell and welcome back to another training video. Today's video is very special because I have worked with many, many designers over the years. I've hired designers, I've worked with designers on a contract basis, on an employee basis. And I wanna give you guys some tips that you can use in your career to help you reach that next level of your career. You may be an entry level designer or maybe an intermediate designer and you may be underneath the main senior designer at a company and you wanna to get to where they are. Well, success leaves clues, and even though I haven't worked a graphic design job myself, I have some good tips for you as a business owner that can help you get to that next level. So let's jump into it. But first, if you could please hit the subscribe button down below, hit that like button so YouTube shows more of my content. This channel is growing very quickly, and thanks to you. And so today, I'm gonna make this video very short and very sweet, and we're gonna cover the five things that you can do today to help get promoted as a graphic designer in your job. All right, tip number one is you need to get clear on what it is you actually want. Are you looking for a raise? Are you wanting a higher level job with more responsibilities? Are you looking to move into a different role where you can use your design abilities with other skills? It's really important that you understand where you're going if you're going to be able to get there. You can't hit a target that you can't see. So it's important that you get clarity. What is it that you truly want out of life? Is it just the money or is it just the title? A lot of people want things because they see other people have them. That doesn't mean that's what's best for you. So you really need to take some time, write it down and think about what it is that you want. Do you want a six figure salary? Do you want bigger income? What is it that you truly want out of your graphic design job or your web design job or your motion design job? Understanding what it is you truly want. If you want more freedom, if you want to be able to work from home, there's lots of different reasons why people want to get promoted. And it's important that you understand that. Number two, and this is a big one, this is what's changed my life and it'll change yours, is get a mentor. Find somebody within the company that you work for, a boss, a colleague, a coworker, something like that, or even outside of your company, maybe at another design company, someone that you know in the industry that has the success that you want. It's important that mentors will partner with you, they will lead you, they will ask you the right questions, and they'll share their journeys with you and their struggles that'll help you overcome your struggles. So getting a mentor is a great way to put gasoline on the fire of your career and really help you reach that next level that you want. You cannot move forward without having good people around you. If you wanna go fast, I've said this in other videos, go alone. But if you wanna go far, go with a team or go with a pack and a mentor is part of that pack. So surround yourself with mentors, it'll change your life, and you wanna get somebody that actually has achieved the success that you want. Not just somebody that you like and that you respect, but somebody that has the success in your field that you want, it's very important. All right, and tip number three is if you are a designer and you wanna reach that next level and you wanna become a senior designer, those senior designers possess skills that you don't have yet, or you would be where they are. And so you need to sharpen your ax and learn the skills that it's going to take to be able to get to where you want. Whether that's watching tutorials, taking courses like on School of Motion or Code Academy or Graphic Design Academies, or just watching these tutorial videos on this channel or our tutorial channel, those are the things that will help you sharpen your ax. Also, reading books. If you're not reading books on a regular basis, you're really only hurting yourself. Reading books is an investment of your time that you're gonna make into yourself that's gonna help you level up your skills and really build yourself as an authority within your company. And trust me, if you worry about yourself and focus on becoming the best designer that you possibly can, the results are gonna show from themselves. They're gonna speak for themselves. And so this is a big one that I really want you to take to heart is you need to invest in yourself and sharpen your ax, whether it's going into mastermind groups, coaching, courses, tutorials, trainings, please make the investment in yourself. It's gonna pay you the biggest dividends. All right, now tip number four, and this is a very big one that I even, I mean, look at my outfit today. I'm dressed the way I am because I'm the owner, I'm the boss and I can dress however I want. But the way you dress is gonna help you feel more confident. And so you wanna dress for the job that you want, not for the job that you have. So I want you to dress for success, wearing a nicer shirt, wearing some slacks, 
however you can dress nice and dress professional and make you feel like a million bucks, you're gonna carry yourself differently. You're gonna be more confident. You're gonna be happier and you're gonna feel stronger, smarter, and more confident. And that's gonna really help you actually stand tall within your company and it's gonna help you get recognized. You may get some funny jokes like, hey, are you going to court? I've gotten those jokes before in the past. But you start dressing nice and start being consistent and start investing into your into your way you look and the way you dress, people are gonna start to respect you more. And most of the people that you work with in your company are probably not dressing very nice. Designers are those creative, these artistic people. And we tend to dress kind of lazy. This is pretty lazy. I threw on a t-shirt, even though it's a cool t-shirt that says stack and checks which is applying to today's video. It's important that you understand that if you dress for success, you're going to get the attention of the people that are gonna be able to make those decisions to give you the jobs that you really, really want. All right, and the last tip, which is tip number five, is you need to measure your success. I wanna encourage you to go out to the uh, AIGA and actually enroll and become part of organizations that are graphic design organizations or motion design organizations, organizations that will help you level up your skills, that will give you resources, that will give you connections, that will give you the mentorship that you're looking for. But I want you to be able to go back and start submitting your work, building your portfolio, and then being able to go back and look at that success that you've had as you've been doing those things. Most graphic designers struggle with building out their own portfolio but a portfolio is something you can go back on and actually show where you started as a designer to where you are today. It's a visual, tangible device and tangible thing that you can use to show the progress that you're making in your career. Show all the things that you've learned from how to write better content, to how to create better messaging, to how to do better visual hierarchy. Being able to measure your success is so important. So you can go back to your boss and say, hey, look, Look at what I was designing when I started here and look where I'm at today, just a short time later. Being able to show the back and forth and the before and the after is a really big deal. And I want you to be able to speak up. If you do all of these things, one of the biggest things that you need to have, and I guess this will just be a bonus number six, is you need to ask for what you want. It's so important. Most people don't ask. They just sit there and wait for somebody to ask for them. No one's gonna ask you to give you a promotion. You have to go out there and ask for it. So you need to ask for what you want. You need to be clear on what you want. You need to be able to measure for your success. You need to be able to dress for success. You need to sharpen your ax and you need to find a mentor. These are all the tips that I got for you. These are the things that are gonna help you get more money, get the clarity that you want, get the job that you want, get the title that you want and get the position that you've really been hoping for. So I hope this helps you guys out. I love you all so much for watching my videos. I appreciate you. I'm trying to grow this channel. I'm trying to help as many people as I possibly can reach the, the pinnacle of their career and really reach their full potential. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Adrian Boysell and I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, keep looking up.